On September 8, 2018, the Ocean Cleanup launched the world's first ocean cleanup system. There was a live stream that had several camera points throughout the bay that covered its departure from the Seaplane Lagoon under the Golden Gate Bridge onto the Pacific. The organization has been supported by millions of people throughout the years and providing them a live stream in a way to engage and feel this day with all the team was kind of also a tribute to all the support we got throughout the years. Not everybody could be out here in San Francisco, so for us to be able to share this with our team back in Rotterdam was just as important as sharing it with the rest of the world. Hello and welcome. My name is Kari Lundgren and I am speaking to you from the control tower at the former Naval Air Station at Alameda. It is a beautiful day here in the Bay Area and we've got a great show lined up for you. So we decided to set up our control room in a location near our assembly yard because it was just a, the best place for the story. So we had Carly Lundgren, our anchor, but we knew that we wanted to toss into the field and we wanted to have aerial shots. Let's take the drone. So to achieve the production we had dreamt of, we needed drones, we needed lockdown cameras, we needed multiple locations. We've got cameras all around the Bay Area. They are streamed to live using some of the latest technology from LiveView. We're a nonprofit, so we're not focused on video production as much as we are on cleaning the ocean of plastic. But we also have these dreams and ambitions to be able to pull off high quality video and live streams. So we dreamt this up a little crazy at first, but LiveView was able to help us. And with the short staff that we had, they even sent two of their technicians on site for us that were able to kind of monitor things as it was coming into the control room and help us with any questions or any issues that we had and that helped make this thing a success for sure. So for me, I was the on-field reporter and we started in one location on Treasure Island. We watched the system pass and then we had to quickly go and hop on a boat and go through the bay, chase the system. I think Rachel at this point is gonna be jumping on a boat. We'll be seeing images of that and we'll be touching base with her later in the show. All of this is being streamed so from one location to the next, we have this technology that's allowing us to follow a 600 meter cleanup system into the Pacific. Being out on location is always difficult because you have so many other logistics to deal with. And in this case, we were dealing with being on the water on a tiny boat, but still wanting to stream stand-ups from our field reporter back. Without Live View, we wouldn't have been able to do this because you can't be out on a boat the size that we were and have you know, a direct link back to the control room for the type of production that we were doing and for the budget that we had. It would have, we would have had no choice but to just film it, record it, take it back and air it later. But this let the people watching actually feel like they were part of this event and could see it up close and they could hear Rachel talking and feel the excitement as it was actually happening. We have caught up with System One. We just left Treasure Island. We hopped on a speedboat. We made our way over here and it's absolutely incredible. We are followed by, there's the Maersk launcher, pretty impressive, the entire system. I'm almost without words. I mean, it's almost one kilometer in length, so it's absolutely immense. And we're also surrounded by a media boat, that's where Boyan is right now. We have a sailboat that's following. It looks like all of the ocean is here to celebrate and it's a, it's a pretty amazing sight. How are you feeling in this moment? I've seen this view you know, for years, just in artist impressions, just in, in computer simulations. So to see this now in reality is, is pretty amazing. Having an aspect like that in a production like this, that really set us apart from just a, a tiny live stream from a nonprofit to something much larger, to where we, we look at it now and we are, we, we're shocked at how the production quality of what we were able to deliver to everybody around the world to watch this amazing event happen. And we were able to show this to the world in a way that we had really wanted to in the first place. Good luck! For me personally, the whole experience was amazing. The live stream turned out to be far above what I could have dreamed of a few months ago. So there you have it. We have just passed the Golden Gate Bridge the iconic moment, it's absolutely incredible. I have the coolest job in the world and I feel so incredibly lucky to be here right now today. Seeing System One as it goes out to the Pacific, 
I hope you feel just as lucky as I do. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you. It made me feel very lucky. It was this beautiful culmination of everyone coming together um, to support something that will ultimately, yeah, support everyone else. So it was, yeah, a crazy few days. <laughs>